In this podcast, we're going to learn to use Suma Paint to create a logo for your Ed329 portfolio page. This is the homepage for sumopaint.com. To get started, we'll click on Open Sumo Paint. Once Sumo Paint loads, we're going to click on New Image to get started. The first thing we need to do is resize the canvas so that it'll fit in the space that we have for the logo on the portfolio page. To do that, go to Image and choose Canvas Size. Change the width from 800 pixels to 600 pixels. And change the height from 600 pixels to 85 pixels. Click OK when you're done. And you can see the rather limited space that we have to work with here, but that's the size of the um, that will fit in the space that we have to do the logo. Now the next thing you need to know about Sumo Paint is that it works in layers. Each, each object that you do is going to be in its own layer in Sumo Paint. You can look down here and see that we currently have one layer called background. Now we're assuming for this project that you want the background of your project to be transparent so that you can see through to the page and not have white around the outside. So we're going to change the opacity of the background layer to zero. In other words, it's going to be completely um, clear when we um, export our project. And you can see up here that um, the display of the canvas has changed from white to a checkered background indicating that all of this that you see that's checkered will be transparent. Now we're ready to add some text to our logo. To do that we'll go down here to the layers um, window because we need to add a new layer for that text to live in. We're going to point to the add new layer icon and click it to create that new layer. You can see that it's already transparent. That's a good thing because we want to be able to see through to the background. Up here in the canvas window, now we're ready to put our text in there. We'll select the text tool. With the text tool selected, we're going to point to the canvas window and click on it once to build a text box. Now the text box is this blue area right here inside of this the blue rectangle with the handles around the corners. Um, the text tool is very versatile in Sumo Paint, but it doesn't let you edit text once you've entered it and left the text box or chosen another tool from the menu over here. So we want to make sure and get the text right before we click out of that, out of that blue text box. The first thing I'm going to do is simply type the information I want to type in here. So Ed 329 Portfolio. Now as long as this blue rectangle is bounding my text, I have the ability to go back and edit my text. As, as long as we don't click outside of this box, we're doing okay. So I'd like to up the value, uh, the size of that, and change the color a little bit. So I'll select the text, and I'll go to the font size here, and I'll simply make the size a little bit larger. I can um, adjust this later as long as I don't leave that text box. I'll also go back and pick a different color. We'll choose a bright red in this case. That looks good. And we'll click to make sure that looks the way we want it to. And if I'd like to change the fonts now, this is the time to do that. So we can select the text, go to the font menu, and choose a different font if we'd like to. We'll choose bold in this case. Now I'm going to click inside of the text box, and making sure that I don't click outside of it or choose another tool to decide if this is how I'd like my text to be. I can move to the very edge of the font box and move it around um, to center it in my in my canvas window if I want to, being careful not to click outside of the font box when you do that. And it looks like I can add a little more size to this. So I'm going to highlight it again, go to the font size menu. I'm going to stretch it pretty much as far as I can to fit it in there. Let's see how that looks. Move it up just a little bit over the side over here. And that looks about right. So I've got my text in there in its own layer and I'm ready to begin the next step now. I'm going to click outside of here or choose the Move tool. Once I've chosen this Move tool, this text is movable, but it's no longer editable. For the next step in creating this logo, we're going to add an image to this empty space over here on, in the canvas. To do that, we go up to File, choose Import to Layer. Notice that Import to Layer, when it does that, it's going to create its own layer when it comes in. And we're going to choose from my computer, because that file is stored on my computer. In my Pictures folder, I'm going to choose this picture of Kachemak Bay. Click on Open to insert it. Now, what's happened? Well, the picture is much larger than the canvas window is. 
um, I can scroll around to see it. We have a very small canvas window and a pretty large picture in there. And what I'd actually like to do is have my picture fit in this space over here. Now, to do that, I need to resize the picture. To do that, I need to go to the keyboard on my computer and hold down the Control key and the T key, Control T, which will put handles around the outside of my image, meaning that I can now resize my image. If I drag this handle down or across, it'll resize the image. If I want to make sure and keep the image in the correct proportion when I drag it, I need to hold the Shift key on the keyboard down first. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and start dragging this picture smaller. I'm going to have to move it up and keep that process up until it gets to be the size that I'd like it to be. If you have a very large picture, this can take a really long time. Okay, we're starting to get to the edge of it here. Looks like it's just about ready to fit. And that will take up all that space and that'll work just fine for my purposes here. So actually I'm going to make it a little larger than that amount of space and I'll, it's going to crop out what you don't see in the canvas window. So I think I'll put it about right here even though it's covering up part of my logo there. And we're going to change the, that in just a second here. Once the image is in place, I now need to go rearrange the layers in my um, image to make sure that the Ed329 text overlays the top of, um, of my image here. If we go down to the, um, to the layers window, you can see that the um, image came in in its own layer up here. And the problem is that this layer is on top of the layer that has the text in it. To change that, I'm simply going to take the top layer and drag it down until it's between the background and the text layer. When I do that, we can look up here and see that now the text layer is in front of the layer uh, that has the image in it. And for this purpose, we'll call this logo finished. So the, the, the last step in, in uh, creating the logo is to export it or to save it as the kind of file that we want to do. In this case, we're going to go to the File menu and we're going to choose Save to My Computer. This is an important choice here. We need to make sure and save it as a ping file or PNG file. If we save it as anything else, this background will no longer be transparent and when we use the logo we'll see a white border around the whole thing. Give it a good title. I'll call this one uh, My Logo. Click on the Save button. Decide where you're going to save it. I'll put it on the desktop here. And that image has now been saved to your desktop and can be used as a logo in your um, Ed329 portfolio page.